Welcome back to the fourth episode of VFL Fiorentina Season 16 and today we start off with a cup game against Udinese. Now we were looking forward to this one just because of the aspect of we had a bad start to the season. They had a good start to the season in Serie B and they got, not, not I wouldn't say cocky, but they got quite confident on the oh, forums yeah. about how they were going to beat us. So we were up for this game because we knew at the end of the day we are in the league above and therefore if we lose it would be slightly embarrassing. So we go straight into the game with a new kind of team. Now it was officially the last time our players, Luke Reynolds and Masai Brownie, had played. And we stuck myself, Fridge Salesman, myself striker, Fridge Salesman left wing, Emerald Hitman right wing, which we had done for a little while, and then Scabby Toenail into Cam. So it was a new kind of attack, but at the end of the day it was an attack of people who all wanted to play and people who would communicate. So we were quite confident that we might not have the same ability, but we'll have the communication, and this was the first start for the communication. We knew straight away that their line was too high. Great ball over the top. Scabby Tone now has got two cutbacks on, but he's smart enough not to use them, because originally I was offside and Hitman was offside, and it is 1-0. As you'll see from here, Hitman's offside the entire time once he brings the ball down. I'm offside originally, but he goes himself and he falls to keep it. And the half-time stats there are quite well. Well, we've shown our domination into the second half, again from another set piece in our own half, just goes out to Fred Chelsea on the left wing, knocks it into Admiral Hitman, knocks it into me, and the keeper's just moon, moonwalking, river dancing, whatever you want to call it. He's just doing the Bruce Lee, he's just left his front post alone, and he's effectively walked out the goal. You'll see from this angle just how far he walks away, and I was going to square it across, and it's well played to Scabby for being there for the keeper being forced to move across like that but the keeper's left it too far up and gone 2-0 into well later on in the second half we're pretty fortunate that they don't get back into it it would have been an undeserved goal at the end as my default pings off his own bar but from the counter attack we try and kill the game off into Hitman I well try and run into him a couple of times it seems here their defender slides in the box somehow doesn't give a penalty but it ends that way anyway it ends 2-0 it's quite comfortable and we were going to go into a Friday night game, as this was on the Wednesday, against Sasula or Sasola, whatever they're called. I don't know the pronunciation of the name. But they never turned up, so we are into our Super Cup game against Dortmund. Now, for them not turning up, we get a 1 0 win, just to put that out there. So that does help us in the league. Now, into the Dortmund game, we were up for this. We had Gilbert and we had Bruce trial for us pre season, and it, it came out that none of them actually really intended to ever join us. So it was a bit of bad blood between us. We also released Masai Brownie, who despite all of his comments, then went and joined these. Now, as you saw there, Scabby Tonell missed with his first chance, but he doesn't miss with his second chance. We were really up for this game, and despite waiting around 25, 30 minutes for our league game, which never happened, we started off very, very well. Scabby Tonell into Bruce Lee's front post, and we get off to a deserved lead. Now, straight away from kickoff, we were pretty quality with our pressure. Sol wins it back, I knock it through, Fred eventually wins it again, and we're in once again. He runs down the wing, you see Sol on the edge of the box, it's a nice cut back to him and it's just unfortunate with the effort that is straight at the goalkeeper. Now half an hour into the game we get a free kick on the halfway line and yet again we punish teams. Our deep free kicks this season have been absolutely quality. Bigging myself up a little bit for this one, um, Aaron did the last one but it's a good ball in, it's a fantastic um, header there from Emerald Hitman and it's 2-0 and again from the kickoff, we put on high pressure and we think you know we were playing really well at the minute. We can kill this game off quite early. This was a Super Cup game, which we'd already won the first game 2-0 or 3-0 against Deportivo as the ball comes into Hitman and he's unlucky himself not to make it 3-0. So we knew, sure, where's the halftime stats here show complete domination? We knew if we won this, we were through. We were through to the next stage of the Super Cup and, which was quite important because we did deem that some of the Dortmund players did mess us around pre-season. We knew if we won this, they were out. Now their first shot comes after 57 finish there from Gilbert. More of a Bit of a stress shot, really, because nothing happened for him. Couldn't get into the game. But as you see there, Scabby picks the ball up onto the edge of the box. Nice little pass and play. Fridge knocks a great ball in. And Emerald Hitman with that knockback is just sensational. What a ball that is. Scabby toenail starting the move and finishing the move. Simple enough header, but the movement in itself is brilliant. As you see from the replay here, Fred claims that the ball was there to that player, um, to Hitman, and that ball back across is just astonishing. It really is a, a fantastic ball. I was screaming in game chat just for him to hit it. This is the reason why. What an effort that is off the bar. I then decided to header the ball at Bruce Lee and win a corner. I don't think I've ever scored a header on this game. I actually thought I was offside as well, but, you know, as you see, it, it's just complete domination this game. A couple of their chances are just miles over. This was their final chance of the game, but... Nothing materialised from it in the end, and altogether it was actually quite a, well, it was a real comfortable win. Probably the best game we've played. Just goes to show that you might have 
some big name players, but they don't play well together, they don't play, and you play, you throw in your Leicester players and you get two pretty decent results. Now, these are two good wins today. Tomorrow we will have Spe La Spezia, who are flying in the league, and one of the new teams promoted from Serie B. So, I'll see you then.